Hello, hello, Texas teacher here once again, bringing you just a little talking to today, a little vlog. Today's vlog is, for the most part, about video games, kind of one of my usuals on this channel. Um, specifically, game releases. There's a game that comes out this week, November 4th, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, a game I have been looking forward to quite a bit. Uh, but in addition to that, you've also had Battlefield 1 that has been released. Uh, you've got Titanfall 2 that's being released. But a new story that came out said that Titanfall 2 is expected to do god-awful in sales. Not because it's a bad game either. Uh, it got reviewed very highly. And so that surprised me. I was like, okay, why, why is it expected to get bad sales? And they have said, excuse me, it, Titanfall 2 sales are going to be affected by sales of Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite War. That basically the company picked a terrible time to launch their games. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air as far as whether I believe that or not. Gamers, <laughs> gamers that I've met, gamers that I know, have the remarkable ability that when a game comes out that they really want, they find a way to get it. Uh, case in point, I've got Call of Duty coming this week, and <laughs> I have gotten two games in the past week, Skyrim and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, it just... <laughs> It seems to me like if you've got a good game, you really shouldn't have to worry about your sales, that you're still going to make sales. Now, me personally, I'm going to wait a little bit on Battlefield, or on uh, Titanfall 2, not because of what I'm already getting, but because this is the first time that Titanfall is making its way to the PlayStation console. And I legitimately do not know anything about it. I don't know if I would like the game. I don't know how it plays. So I'm going to wait and find out more before I get my copy, if I ever get my copy. And so it, it kind of brought me to the subject of game reviews. And I'm curious, when a game comes out that you are interested in, you the viewer, what makes you go out and buy it? What prompts that? Do you do research on it? Do you read reviews? Or do you go to channels like mine where I do reviews, and I do gameplay footage, and you watch that, and you see if you buy the game like that. I'm curious. Because Bethesda, company that puts out Skyrim, has uh, recently said they're not doing review copies anymore, that they want everybody to find out about at the same time. In a way, that's good. In a way, it's not. In a way, it's good because there are sponsored videos out there that preach great reviews. Now, if you're watching anything on my channel, let me go ahead and say, I have never in my life been sponsored by any game company. So if you read a review for me, that is my honest opinion, not because I was paid to say that. And that's not knocking anybody that is done by a game company, or these sponsored by a game company. For example, Rooster Teeth this week has done a bunch of stuff about Battlefield 1. And, to be honest, I've enjoyed looking at it. It looks like a good game. So I don't see, I don't think it's edited to make it look like a great game. I think it's a legitimately good game. But that, that little doubt in your mind could change the way you look at stuff. Um, but beyond that, I've heard a lot of people throwing crap at, at uh, Call of Duty Infinite War, saying it's a Halo ripoff, etc. Uh, let me go ahead and say, as somebody who played the uh, beta, I don't see it as a Halo ripoff. I see a good game. It definitely seems like a sequel to Black Ops 3 in terms of combat style. Never played the story, so I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm legitimately curious. I love who they've gotten for some actors in there, definitely, uh, considering I think one of the main villains is Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. So that's that's pretty cool to me. But it's neither here nor there. I'm just, I'm like I said, I'm curious 
how people go out and get games. Like, is is it just you buy it, you play it. If you don't like it, you take it back. Or do you watch one of my channels? Now, information that I have says that a lot of people do go out there to check reviews. Um, when No Man's Sky came out, whether or not you feel like it was a mistake, that is one of my most popular videos on my channel, and it got to 50 views really quick. So that tells me that a lot of people wanted to know more about No Man's Sky. Even my Destiny review and my Bioshock review got more views than most of my other stuff, which tells me that people go out and look at reviews. But I'm just, like I said, just curious. I can tell you as far as uh, what's coming up this week. We have a new month starting with November. So, November the, let's see, November the, oh, sorry about this. Should have been better prepared, I guess. November the 4th is a Friday, so, <coughs> <coughs> God, <laughs> excuse me. November 5th, Saturday. I will post another AMA. So if you want your questions answered by me, shut up, computer. If you want your questions answered by me, you need to uh, you need to ask them in the comments before Friday the fourth, because Friday the fourth, I am actually going to go ahead and shoot the video and have it scheduled to upload about noon on Saturday. So. You got questions to ask me? Ask me by Friday the 4th. Friday the 4th is cutoff day. If you ask me after, it'll be on the next one uh, in December. God almighty, it's almost December. I am finding that real hard to believe. It just seems like this year has just gone by. Um, other than that, it's just been, it's been different. Um, things have been really chaotic. And anybody who knows me knows I don't care for chaotic. Video games are a whole separate issue. Like, I'm fine Call of Duty wise in a big firefight. I may be freaking out, but I'm, it's nothing. But in my actual personal life, I don't like a lot of chaos. I like normal. I like simple. It hasn't been that way lately, especially at work. I want to shoot this little video to kind of talk about video games, talk about reviews, just tell you how my life's going. I mean, there's stress, but stress happens. Sometimes stress can be a good thing. Sometimes it can be a bad. It's just how you deal with it, I think, how I feel. And let me go ahead and say, because it's come up before, if you are ever depressed and if you ever feel just just crappy, you're not alone. There's there's plenty of people out there that feel the same way. Go get help. There's no harm in asking for help. Because to me, and it's been that way lately, where I've missed a lot of people who have... Uh, going on. And maybe I'm thinking more about it with Halloween. Of course, you know, Halloween's that time of year where the supernatural is kind of exposed to the everyday, where you have ghost tours going around and all this stuff and cemeteries and movies and that kind of stuff. It just makes, it makes you think about those who, who aren't here anymore. And, uh, oh, excuse me, I felt like I had to sneeze. So I've been thinking a lot about the past. And that's probably not a great thing for me. <laughs> Oi. Told you. I felt like a sneeze. I'm telling you, sinus has been just... Ugh. But human life is worth a lot more than people think it is. And I just want people to know that you are important. That you are valued. And... There's no telling what the future's going to hold for you.
you know, if you do something that you might regret, you don't know. I mean, you don't know what's on the other side till you actually get there. By then, you're too damn late. But if you do something like that, you don't know how it would have changed your future if you'd been here. How you might have affected somebody else. So, that's my deep thought for the day. I don't expect too many more. I'm in that state of just exhaustion right now. So, that's as much you're going to get off of me. But, keep those uh, question comments coming. November 4th is when they're due. Teachers do. Get it? If you got a question to ask, ask me. I'll answer it if it's, uh, well, I wouldn't say school appropriate because I'm not exactly school appropriate when I'm at home or doing Call of Duty videos. I believe I've called people bitch whistle before. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, just been a little rambling vlog, just a little chance for me to talk. Hope y'all have a great day. Hope y'all have a great Halloween. Happy Halloween. This Texas teaching once again class is dismissed.